you know, for some people, cars are simply a means of transportation to get from point A to point B and you know, they don't care about what it looks like, they don't keep it clean, they don't take care of it. Yo, what's up people? Roscoe here, man. It's been a while, it's been a while. I've been hibernating, dude, laying low. As I usually do after a long winter that we battled through. And uh, yeah, we're in the shop today doing some stuff. And I got something to show you. And it's not this, this is the 300 that's been torn down from Silver Kings a couple weeks ago. Downhill bikes upside down because it needs a new wheel because I destroyed it. That thing's for sale. I got, I got everything's for sale right now. 690 for sale. If I'm gonna ride, I'm gonna ride hard, dude. Even though I'm a dog shit enduro rider, Silver Kings. But this is what we're here to talk about. I bought this, dude. Ho do not follow me for financial advice at all. Whoops. Uh, so about a year ago, I ordered this. This is the new Raptor Ranger from Ford. I've been a Ford guy for a long time. I'm the best Ford dealer. If you're in the market for a new Ford and uh, you're anywhere close to Oregon, Eastern Oregon, Burns Ford, Ted is the man. If you have had the, the privilege or luxury of buying a new vehicle, you know that when you go to the dealership, usually you go in there, you're like, this is what I want, you figure out a price, and then they're like, we're gonna send you to the, the financial guy. And whether or not you're taking out a loan or paying cash for the thing, the dude's gonna try to upsell you for like four hours on absolute bullshit. And it's so annoying. You just have to sit there and be like, no, 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 no. Can I just write the check for the price that I paid? I don't need any of the like, my dad calls it the shyster shine. They're like, we want the underbody coating and it's just literally some kid under there with like a rattle can spraying stuff. There's so many better ways that you can like invest in your vehicle than what the dealer sells you. And usually the dealer stuff that they try to sell, you can go somewhere else and get a much better product. So that's why I love Ted. I just go in there. He literally is just like, I, I signed three papers for this. I think I sign wrote my signature three times and wrote him a check and boom, out of there. So Ford finally brought the Ranger or the Raptor to the Ranger chassis and we've seen it in like Australia and other parts of the world, but that was in the old Ranger. This is an all new Ranger that is really sick. And the story goes is rumors had been, you know, milling that they were gonna bring this, which I'm very happy they do. Obviously I have one now. And I called Ted and I said, Ted, Ranger Raptors coming to the US. He goes, I don't know what you're talking about. And I said, well, I'm pretty sure it's coming. So when you know that, and you can order one, you call me. So I put this on order, it took almost a year to get it. That's just what it takes when you want a Raptor. Uh, and especially if you don't wanna pay huge markups and you have a dealer that's nice and that isn't gonna mark you up a ton. I, I thought that this truck was gonna cost more than the MSRP on it. And the MSRP on this thing is like 57,000, 58,000 bucks. Pretty expensive, right? But you can go buy some of these new side-by-sides for like, you can get 50 in them quick. Money just ain't the same anymore, dude. It's spendy out there. Don't follow me for financial advice. So this thing, when I got in it, I was hoping I wasn't gonna love it. And I love it. That's the problem because now I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna sell it. I was like, I could drive it for a while, sell it in six months, but this thing has uh, been insane. So, look at this little thing. It's so cute. 405 horsepower, powered by an EcoBoost three liter V6 twin turbo that absolutely rips. Same motor that's in the Raptor Bronco, which is about 95 grand, which is crazy. But that has, there's some differences there as well. So it's like a sports car, dude. I, I told Gab, I was like, I was like, I didn't know I was buying a sports car because it drives so good, but that's what I wanted. I've always wanted a Raptor, dreamt of owning one, it's been a goal of mine in my head, like, man, it would be sick to have one. But the F-150 Raptor doesn't really fill the void for me that this thing does. So I have the Queen Mary, the F-350 with all the everything that I've done to it. Remember, no financial advice from me, dude. Not a good one. It just isn't a good daily driver anymore. It's amazing for what I, I like to use it for. Hauling snowmobiles, hauling just everything, 
and uh, they got the camper set up, four wheel camper. It's a 90 mile an hour camper. It's amazing, right? But to drive it around every day is not that fun. So that's why I wanted this. And the F-150 is a big truck and this is much smaller. Very impressed so far. It has the new BFG all-terrain KO3s on it, black rims, factory fender flares. Ted added the uh, mud flaps for me from Ford, nice and easy. Very short bed. You, as you can see, my motorcycle doesn't even fit in the bed. So again, what's the use of this truck? It's a daily driver that then I can, I can throw things in the back still, haul bikes, haul my moto still. Like if I need to go make a run to do these like little things day in and day out, my big truck just ain't doing it these days. Come around the back here, we'll do a switch real quick. So little things that obviously are different, twin, twin tip out the back exhaust. We're gonna talk about the exhaust. One of my favorite features, dual tow hooks, multiple cameras in the back. We're gonna talk about that as well. And uh, has the Raptor running boards, which are, they're okay. They're a little bit low, but um, yeah. Up front, we have front camera, which is really nice for parking. I've never had one of those. Makes it very, very nice. Uh, Ford Performance LED headlights. I've been typically, on the last few trucks I've bought, I've, I've invested in the Morimoto headlights, which I can't get uh, enough of. I love them so much and they do so well. But these headlights are insane. Really, really cool, um, very bright. And as you can see underneath, we have cameras on the mirrors. So basically what I'm alluding to is this has 360 cameras and a lot of features that I just didn't really expect it to have, which are which is awesome when you show up and get in it and you're like, oh, because a Raptor is basically specced for a Raptor. Like there's not much you can do about it. All right, interior. Of course, Ford has outfitted this with very classic Raptor interior styling, red accents everywhere. Uh, this is almost like a faux, I mean, it's kind of like a suede, but it's not. It's like a rough leather, I don't know. It's nice though. Uh, those accents that they've done in here, vertical screen that is really cool, it's all new compared to like my old, or the, the F-350 I have, it's horizontal screen, which I also, I don't mind, I don't really care for a difference there, but this is all kind of new UI and a new look. Then we have full screen here, paddle shifters, like 70 buttons on each side. So we're fired up. One of the coolest features about the Raptor is this right here, the R. So that's your Raptor mode. I Every time I get in it, all I have to do is click this twice and then I am in my Raptor mode, which you can see sport mode, sport steering, sport suspension, Baja exhaust, auto start off. So I don't have to go through and change every setting every time I get in the car. I just click my Raptor button twice and I'm in my saved mode, which is really nice because I like to drive this like an idiot and definitely not the most friendly on the gas pedal. On this side as well, we have our steering. So you just click that and you have, we have sport, normal, comfort, and then down here we have our little shock. This is outfitted with the Fox live valve shocks. It's just, it's not the full uh, piggyback stuff that the F-150s have, but it's really, really good. Click that, sport mode, off-road, and normal. I've been just driving around in sport. And then below, this is my favorite feature right here. This guy, that little exhaust pipe. So we have four modes for our exhaust. We have quiet, which is really nice. You guys probably can't hear it, but even, even sitting here, I can hear it change tone. So we have uh, quiet, normal, sport, and then Baja. And it's hilarious. When you go in Baja mode, it says for off-road use only. Don't tell anyone. Additionally, on our dial here, 
we have our drive modes. So I can just click this over and we have a nice little animation. So we have sport, tow haul. I don't know what I'm gonna be towing with this thing. Actually has a lower uh, payload and towing capacity. I think the towing is lower also, but the payload's definitely lower because of the Raptor and the softer suspension. So payload's actually lower than its typical Ranger. Tow haul, slippery. And then if we go the other way, we have normal, off-road, sick. And it's gonna automatically put it into four-wheel four drive. And then uh, off-road, Baja which will also put it into four wheel drive high and then uh, rock crawl. So haven't really played with all of these off-road modes that much. Obviously the thing only has 1200 miles on it, but I usually just keep it in kind of my custom Raptor mode here. That, uh, yeah, that's kind of the setup here. So Apple CarPlay, of course, wireless charger, um, heated steering wheel, which is really nice. I've never had one of those. I love it. Well, uh, heated steering wheel, which is really nice. Obviously this signature Raptor uh, thing to make sure you're going straight as fast as possible. And uh, yeah, heated, heated seats, no cooling seats because they're not ventilated as you can see, but uh, back seat is actually a decent size, especially if you kind of scoot the front seats up. Um, but it is a small truck, I think Tacoma size. And then our auxiliary switches, which will probably be wired up to something eventually, and Baja designs and whatnot, but. So no, it's not a throaty V8, but it's very, it's just a small, quick package that Drives really good. We're gonna go drive it real quick. We're in a Raptor mode right now. Uh. It's so sick, dude. The other thing about this, stereo rips, all kind of high quality, like highest trim level stuff Ford does and drives really good. I've said that a bunch, but very impressed with that. And it's also quiet. The Queen Mary is not quiet anymore. After the camper, roof rack, 37s, just everything I've done to it. When we went to Idaho, I'm like, man, this thing is not quiet inside anymore, but this is nice and quiet. And then if you want it to sound good, it sounds good. Especially in Baja mode. Can't get over the exhaust, it's so sick. <laughs> it just makes it fun to drive. And it'll just get down the road, accelerates quick, and then if you get on the brakes, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but especially when you're actually really driving, it will actually kind of like rev downshift like a performance car would, which is really sweet. So a lot of things I didn't expect to get with this that I got, I didn't think it would have the 360 cameras, uh, wasn't sure about cruise control, adaptive cruise control is what it has, and also has lane assist. So it will just keep me in the lane, which is <laughs> nice also kind of annoying because it's a little jerky sometimes around corners and it reminds you like every 12 seconds if you're not giving the steering wheel any input it reminds you to put your hands on the wheel and then it beeps at you but it would be really nice if you could just kind of not touch the wheel or just kind of barely you know touch it still be paying attention but when you're not giving it input it will only drive like that for 20 30 seconds and then it's like hey get your hands on the steering wheel and you have to just give it a little nudge but it's really impressive adaptive cruise control is so sick i've never had that on a rig either it's really really nice just because it will you know manage that distance for you with multiple distances it has but enough of the boring stuff because this is it's a car that is meant to be driven. 
So pros and cons. Pros, it's very fast, very fun to drive, drives really well, has plenty of power for the small package that it comes in. Uh, the looks are continuing to grow on me. I think it would look amazing with 35s and just a little kick on the wheels, you know, get that stance right. But it's nice like this because they're tucked in a little bit. 33s are a good amount of tire and uh, sounds great. Suspension's awesome. Would it be cool if it had the next level of Fox live valve suspension? Of course. Would it be cool if it came with 35s? Of course. Price point on it, when you're talking about performance rigs like this versus the new TRD Pro from Toyota, it's $8,000 cheaper and we have more horsepower. We don't have the weird suspension seats that like, it's such a weird feature that they put in there that are probably very expensive and like, who's gonna, it's just, so cons, if it had a bigger bed, that would be awesome. Um, you know, I'm not bitching. I love this thing. I'm uh, very excited. I purchased it. And uh, yeah, if you guys think, if, if you're in on this, let me know. If you're not, also let me know. But good purchase, Ross. We took the Raptor logo off the back. Cam told me to take it off. Cam Hotchkiss, he said, you better take that off. And I said, I agree. And it, it just looks a little bit cleaner. I wish that they would do like a badge up here, you know, than the big Raptor sticker. Sometimes I don't feel it goes that well. There were a lot of really cool color options that I could have done. I went with the white just because I told myself that I would only buy white vehicles forever. And also it makes it kind of, I don't have to choose because you never want to buy a vehicle that three years down the line, you're like, God, I wish I wouldn't have bought that color, even though it might look pretty in the beginning or whatnot, but the white just looks good. So here's the question with the Raptor Ranger, is it worth the hype? And do I think that Ford is going to itch out a market in the small truck world? Because especially where I live, Central Oregon, there's Tac there's Tacomas everywhere. Like I cannot buy a Toyota because everybody and their brother has a freaking Toyota. And if it's not that, it's a Subaru. I don't know what the deal is, dude. And if it's not that, it's a Mercedes Sprinter van. It's crazy in this town. So do I think that Ford has an opportunity to kind of cut in the Toyota Tacoma market? I do uh, with this. I mean, the Raptor is kind of a thing of its own. We'll see what the other, you know, more baseline Rangers do. But as a small truck, the new Ranger, really, really good. Haven't driven a new Ranger that's not in Raptor platform. I do know somebody who got one. They love it. But for the price, yes. Are vehicles out of control expensive these days? Of course they are. But with, when we're talking about like, this is a cool performance rig, one off, right? I waited a year for the thing. So you're gonna pay a premium for it. But also a new turbo Songle is $25,000. A new motorcycle is 12 to 13. A new Husky tricked out is like 12 grand out, you know? And everything is just expensive. So. You know, if you want it, you gotta pay. Pays to play, baby. Don't follow me for financial advice. We'll see you guys later.